Hello everybody, my name is Luchara, and this is Mega Games Tycoon 2, another episode of my Let's Play. In the last episode, we released a new Tech Level 5 console. It's rated 10 out of 10, 5 stars, really good console, it's selling really well. I'm really happy with it. Um, also got Candy Crash 8, about to go over the 10 million sales mark. Dragon Rider 5 selling well, Crazy Games Tycoon 5 not selling as well, but that's because it's exclusive for my consoles. So before, and then we're also developing Lead Dead, which is my first third person shooter, obviously with the Cowboy Wild West um, subtopic or topic and subtopic. Before I do anything though, I'm going to do something that I should have done quite some time ago. I'm going to buy out some more publishers and developers, make them subsidiaries. We have one subsidiary, we have Tadu. I bought them out a really long time ago. And I'm gonna, so I'm going to buy a few out, and then I'm going to explain why. Um, so let's, we want developers primarily, so let's, oh my god, they're not even that expensive. Like 53 million, 60 million. I mean, I have four billion dollars. <laughs> oh, Blizzard. Oh, and for anybody who doesn't know, small little anecdote here. Um, Blizzard, before Warcraft or Diablo or anything, they actually made a couple of games for the Super NES called um, Rock and Roll Racing, and oh, what was the Viking game called? Lost Vikings? Anyway, very good underrated games. Oh, let's buy EA. There we go. And let's buy some smaller ones, like Air Games. And Rock Studios. So I'm just going to... Yeah, I'm just going to buy a bunch. Whatever, right? Because... <laughs> There's, I have a good reason for this, and I'll explain it in a minute. I just want to uh, spend some money here. We can't buy uh, Katari. You can't buy Katari, Nintendo, Sega. Well, maybe Sega you can. Um, uh, Sony, Microsoft, right? Basically, you need some con um, competition, basically. We bought some big ones. Oh, I even got a... Uh, achievement for something I just did <laughs> all right so here's why here's why we did this why I did this so we go into subsidiaries let's just click on whatever blizzard um I see somebody was making a hockey game league hockey 97 it's no blue chair hockey that's for sure all right so we're going to settings um we'll apply settings for all of subsidiaries but this is the big one right here Develop exclusive games for own consoles. Um, so self-publish. No, so they can they can publish their own games. I don't want to publish. <laughs> I don't want to publish their games. They can publish their own. But so all these game companies I just bought are now only going to make games for my consoles. Think about that. Think about how many extra games are going to be exclusive to my consoles now right that's ridiculous i should have been doing this all along but i'm a slacker <laughs> and i forgot but i mean i own two four six eight ten twelve that's 12 game companies in addition to myself that are only going to be making games for my consoles now um all right so what do we want to do here do we need any updates yeah, let's do a Dragon Rider and a Crazy Games update. Main development team is still uh, training down here. So let's take a look at the folks. We're doing the graphics right now. So we want to get everybody to about 30, which everybody pretty much is. And then we'll be able to move these people back and start uh, making games with them again. Yeah, you got a lot of people that look like this that are pretty well-rounded. They're going to be able to make some good games. Console teams just twiddling their thumbs right now. As it's our research team. Diamond record for Candy Crash 8 as predicted. I mean, it's still selling 100k a week, right? So, we're good. Um, okay, I don't want these pop-ups, so. You, yeah, you guys can do it. I don't want to have this pop-up every time. So, what do we need to do to not... 
have to deal with that every time. Self published games. It's less than 90, but I don't want to. All right, so yeah, so if it's less than 90, they'll do it automatically. If it's over 90, then I will be given the option, I believe is how that works. And the AI is not nearly as good at, uh, <laughs> at putting out 90 review scores as I am. Like there's a couple of 94s, right? Like there's been one, two, three, four, five. The AI has put out five games with a few scores over 90 and I have put out 39. So yeah, my games are a little better than the AIs, I guess you could say. Just a little, just slightly better. Just just a tiny little bit. And that's fine. That's fine. All right, uh, marketing is not doing anything right now. Any of our consoles need a boost? Not really. But I mean, better than just twiddling our thumbs, right? So yeah, so we're not going to see that like our console sales aren't going to just spike right but over time this should help with our console sales in theory at least that's the hope um demo no yeah candy crash could go for just a good old marketing campaign though i think tv spot get that back to 100 hype will be good still no research coming through all right, so what type of game are we going to make next? This is going to be the trend. Oh, only 19 more weeks. Oh, and do we know what the next trend is going to be? I think survival game. Not puzzle, that's for sure. All right, so let's do market research again, and we'll see if they land. Yeah, so they think it's going to be survival. So do I want to make another survival game? Sure, so let's update the old survival engine right here. That's tech level four. We do have the one tech level five thing. We're not going to be using that though, probably, for at least this game. At some point, we might we'll go with our station, which is still selling extremely well. I mean, there's only two tech level five consoles out there, at least I think last time I checked. Mine and the cigarine cast at the moment is all that is out there. Hopefully it stays that way for a while. <laughs> all right, so this game is almost done. Almost ready, so let's do a pre-release for the press. Do I want to overhype it? I don't think I'm going to overhype it. Strat engine was licensed. Nice. Because it's my first third-person shooter. Um... Yeah, 60 to 80 estimated review score at the moment. I don't really want to uh, bad things happen. Energy saving mode. That is a console feature. Let's throw that in there. All right, so. Am I, am I done training finally? I think so. I think I am. They're like, yeah, they're getting to be fairly well-rounded. I mean, I could leave them there, but I don't think I'm going to. I think it's time to start uh, making games with the A-Team again. Maybe, so I could either start training these folks, or I could start making some paid add-ons. Speaking of paid add-ons, I should probably maybe look at a... Uh, Doing an MMO soon, right? Like I could make an MMO right now. It's expensive as 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 all heck. <laughs> Twenty one million more than normal. That's on top of all the other charges, right? Um, I think I'm gonna hold off for now. Just generally speaking, I mean, well, it is 1999. You know what? I want to make an MMO. I'm tempted. 
I am tempted. <laughs> I wish this was a stream right now so I could get some instant feedback from you folks. Um, all right, so let's just update this engine as if we are going to make an MMO. I'm not sure yet if that's what I want to do. But I want to have the option. Oh, 60 to 80. That's ugly. Uh, I mean, there's no bugs. I could polish it, but... Uh, no, 70 90. I'll take it. <laughs> I'll take it. I mean, honestly, as long as it's at least 70, so I get the achievement for having a, a third person shooter over 70, I'm happy. Ultimately, 83. That's fine. All right, so let's uh, make some copies of that. Not, uh, not many. <laughs> forget is that exclusive for my console or like one of my consoles I completely forget no that is for a bunch of consoles all right so let's make let's make an add-on let's make a paid add-on for candy crash 8 it's sold well enough that i feel like it's a good idea candy crash 8 God, I have no idea what <laughs> what would work with for like what would com combine with a candy puzzle game. Like I don't know. <laughs> None of these are jumping out at me. Um, dancing? <laughs> desert? Is that desert or dessert? Because dessert makes sense, but I don't think desert does. Dreams? Candy Crash 8. Dream Candy. <laughs> sure. Why not? Dream Candy it is. Um, oh, let's throw in some dance pad support and some in-app purchases. Although in-app purchases make me feel gross and icky inside. All right, so might as well polish this up. All right. You, on the other hand, are going to train. You're going to train your face off in game testing for a little bit, at least. And you're going to polish and you're going to polish. And then you will eventually switch over to bug fixing. Do we have any research to do? We do not. Let's do a day one patch for lead dead. And there we go. Hey, Dream Candy, 438 programmer points. Nice. All right, I guess we need to market this. Haha, <laughs> completely forgot about that. All right, let's get that to 100. Get that to 100. All right, so they're done making the RPG engine. So now I'm just. Holy crap, 20, this game was expensive to make, 23 million. I don't know if that's going to be profitable. If it only sells that much per week, that might be a big yikes. <laughs> We're in the summer slump right now, though, too. It doesn't help. Hey, LaCher Station still selling over 100K a week, even, even in the summer slump. That's pretty good. Actually, that's... This is definitely my best-selling stationary console. It's going to give a run my handhelds I feel all right so do I want to make an MMO I don't think so not yet it's too early is it too early let's update this engine it was pretty out of date it was only uh tech level three let's get that up to date because I want them to be doing something Large booth, let's go. Um, what could use the hype? You, you, and Candy Crash 8, Terra Station, and the Luchera Box. Let's go. 12,000 more fans, beautiful. So this will be at max hype whenever they're done. All right, how many bugs? Oh, they're making a lot of bugs. So let's switch you off polishing, get you to bug fix instead. Is there any extra game testers out there to put in this room? Yeah, yeah, 
There we go. That'll help. All right, so there, um, my main development team is unoccupied once again. So I have to just, I have to decide what I'm doing with them here. Got no research to sidetrack me. Let's do it. Let's do an MMO. Screw it. But want it to be tech level five though. That's the thing. It's too early. It's only 1999. But I guess like EverQuest and Ultima Online and all those, they were out in um, in 1995, right? We will call this fantasy something. <laughs> um, all right. So main genre, obviously RPG. Main topic, fantasy. Yeah, oh, fantasy is fantasy is saturated. We'll call this Never Quest. Yeah, sure. Now we could go tech level five, right? There's literally only three consoles that are tech level five. But that's okay. I'm going to do it. I'm going to make this tech level. Well, no, no. You know what? I'm not. I'm not going to make a tech level five. There's literally only one tech level five thing, right? So let's put it on two of my consoles, though. It's literally, like I said, there's literally one thing that's tech level five here. It's not worth it. Not for one thing, right? Um, okay, so why aren't you remembering where I had these sliders? That's okay, I guess. And there. Explicit. <laughs> 40, 30, 30, 40, 30, 15, 15 down here, I believe. Turn on everything that matters, which is 48 things. That is a lot of features. This is going to be an uh, extremely expensive game. I am not putting any in that purchases in. At least one extra feature. Oh no, the micro is only tech level three. That's right, too. Whichever box it is instead, then. <laughs> Actually, you know what? Whichever box is kind of. No, let's do PC instead. We're kind of ch we're chasing users a bit, but that's fine. We do have the chair station in there. All right, so just going to let them go. I'm not going to put the other rooms on it just yet. We're going to we're going to we're going to be polishing this one quite a bit. Right? So there's no big rush on it. We can wait. All right, so how far along is this? It's getting there. Oh my god, that's a lot of bugs. All right, I got to take these folks out of training. <laughs> Cuz that's a lot of bugs. Oh my god. I wanted to leave them in training, but you No, know, they're they're on the top. They're on the ball though. They're on top of it. All right, continue development. We got to get rid of these bugs. And we got to do special marketing. For dream candy. Overhype, sure. You will overhype. All right, so it is now bug free. And it has been overhyped. And what could go for a demo? Anything? Lead dead demo? Sure. Hey, 44 extra graphic points for NeverQuest. Lead dead is back to 100. Overhype failed, as expected. So we are ready to put this out. Finished development. Um, we will self distribute this because that's what we do here at Lucera Systems. Hey, we're getting pretty good at stuff. 92%. I am at least satisfied with that. All right, so let's uh, fire some of those up. Beautiful. All right, so now, now. We improved EverQuest. 
and improve gameplay. Looking good. All right, start polishing immediately. The other room over here can do the bug fixing. Surprised it hasn't created more bugs yet, honestly. <laughs> um, game one patch. Let's do another patch for crazy games first. All right, and let's throw these lovely folks into training. Game design professionals. Do that for a bit at least. And uh, I almost forgot. Let's get some mocap for my MMO. Still no research. Still no. Still no. Um, whoops. Did not mean to pick up those shelves. Still no tech level four handheld. Oh. Okay. So we. Okay. Because I clicked this box a while ago, we are automatically selling. Um, when, I, when, we, ah, when I pull a game off the market, we automatically sell the stock of it. So that's already at 100 hype. So what do we want to do here? Uh, the trend is about to change. Uh, I guess we can advertise for the micro. We've got to do something with those folks, right? Don't want them to just sit there, put them on their thumbs. Yeah, MMOs take a long time to make, <laughs> as we can see. Hey, gold record for Lead Dead. Yellow Chair Station's about to sell its 10 millionth unit. Like, pretty good. But yeah, I do feel overall my console sales are a little better because of all the extra games that are getting put out for them, right? <laughs> Due to me buying out some subsidiaries. I'm still nowhere near the top. Little chair micro is by far my best. Look at the difference. There's 30 million difference. There's a big gap between the top 21 and everything else. Yeah, the chair station has already eclipsed two of my old stationary consoles. And it's been out for a little over a year, like just barely over a year. So I'm going to buy a couple more subsidiaries here. Because why not? I have the money. I got the money. I can, you know, flex my muscles a little bit here. Just buy out everybody. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's going to get to a point where people are going to have to buy my consoles. Right? If they <laughs> if they want to play any games at all, <laughs> they pretty much have to buy <laughs> mine. Which is funny to me. All right, so... Self-publish less than 90. I can develop exclusives. Make sure it's set for everybody. Perfect. Perfect. Level streaming. We got a new competitor for me to buy out eventually. <laughs> Let's do another Lead Dead update. How's Lead Dead doing for sales? Ah, pretty good. Hey, it's profitable already. Ooh, Candy Crash 8. I am... Pretty disappointed. I know it's only an add-on, but I'll be honest, that's I am disappointed in those sales numbers. They're going down every week. <laughs> Alright, so how are they doing their training and gameplay down here? How's everybody in game design? So yeah, these folks are not near as good as my main room. Right, even before the training. So they're going to put out some good games. In theory. Yeah, even these rooms seems like it's taking longer to get through everything. Because it's an MMO. MMOs take a long time to make. I mean, it's... This shouldn't be a surprise to me or anybody. <laughs> so let's just get a little server room here. It's probably way bigger than it needs to be. And that's okay. There's no point in putting these servers in yet because they do, there is like an upkeep on them, right? So, all right, let's update Candy Crash. See if we can, all right, so Candy Crash 8, the original is off the market. 11.5 million in sales. So where does that land in the all-time list? Back in, ooh, so close. Luchera Hockey 97 is still the king though. 
All right, so survival is indeed the trend, so maybe I should have done one. Oh, well. Um, what's less than 100 hype here? Dragon Rider 5. Let's get that back to 100 hype. It's still selling pretty well. It has a shot at 10 million in sales. It might get there. I mean, it might not. No guarantee. Hey, Lead Dead winning awards. Rowbound? What? I didn't win game of the year? Wow. Well, I mean, I guess. Yeah, I guess I only put out... I didn't put out any really good games last year. That makes sense. That kind of sucks, though. I'm used to getting that boost for having game of the year. <laughs> and I'm not going to have it this year. All right, so the MMO is almost half done. Um, They're a little over half done. They're almost done. Yeah, or where are we at for the mocap? Mocap is going well. Yeah, I don't know what's up with this uh, tech level four screen where a handheld just doesn't seem to exist. It's a mystery. Um, oh, Candy Crash. And Lead Dead sales are kind of up, so let's uh, let's update both of those. Ah, I mean, even though I'm disappointed in Candy Crash and Dream Candy sales, actually, I'm well, I guess it's Christmas season, but I'm no longer disappointed. All right, so how well is that console going to be selling? Is it over 200K right now? Holy crap, 280,000. So, yeah. Buying out all those subsidiaries, I feel like, is working. Um, available games 6. Available games 28. Available games 32. Right? Like, anyway. So, it's it's nice to know that that strategy is working. Anyway, going to end the video here. We're at that point. Next episode, we will release our MMO and and support it, of course. Um, so I don't know how long this bunch is going to be able to stay in training for. And then, um, then probably a survival game. Chase the trend a little bit, right? Well, actually, by the time the MMO is ready to come out, there might be a new trend. So I might, I might rip these people out and get them starting on a survival game. Once everybody, once these rooms are done, I think that'll be the plan. Anyway. We'll deal with that next time. If you enjoyed this video, which I hope you did, hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't already. Most importantly, though, be good to each other. Have a great day, and I'll see you in the next one.